Hey, welcome back to Danford Golf Instruction. Today we're going to uh, answer a question from uh, one of our viewers here. This question was, what kind of feel do I need to have? Because I really struggle with taking the club low and inside in my takeaway. So we're going to talk about that today. I'm going to give you a few ideas, a few different feels, because most likely a lot of us struggle with that, especially if you're somebody who tends to come over the top of the ball. We tend to swing inside and then create room by swinging over the top. So today we're just going to cover that question. I'll give you some ideas and feels uh, that you can do at home to help you improve that takeaway or maybe this issue that you are also coming in contact with. So most likely you struggle with somebody, if you're watching this, you struggle with the inside kind of low hand takeaway. Uh, probably looks something maybe like that. First thing we're going to address is maybe your setup or your body is causing you to do this. Okay. So if you're somebody who stands really tall over the ball, all right, your shoulder turn is going to be pretty flat. And so your club, if you just turn around you, tends to be flat unless you have a lot of arms lifting up. So the first thing you need to do is check your setup. So what I look for is when you set up with, let's say like an average of seven iron, all right, dips your shoulders. I want those to be five, maybe five, six, some inches like that in front of your toes. All right now, make sure that when you're doing that setup, that that weight is not also going to like the balls of your feet. I want the weight to still feel like it's going down through your ankle. All right, so you might have to hinge over a little bit more, which could feel a little bit funny. The reason why I want your shoulders more of the tips of your shoes because it encourages your shoulders to turn a little bit steeper and automatically if I get my shoulders to turn a little bit steeper I know that the club is going to start to elevate a little bit quicker so that's one way that we can anticipate making sure the club doesn't swing right inside is by making sure our shoulders turn at a good angle to the golf ball. Right? Uh, I'm going to attach a video on shoulder turn because there's a difference between a shoulder turn and a shoulder tilt and there should be a marriage between both of those to make it really work out so check out that video up in the corner I'll put it up there uh, so you can click on it if you're unsure of what the difference is uh, the next thing that we're going to talk about we've got posture we're going to talk about what your hands are doing all right because the hands can lead to lots of good things and lots of bad things all right so your wrists should basically kind of set straight up and down, okay? If you think you're hammering something, that's basically what the wrists do. They shouldn't whack it back and forth, okay? So as you swing the club back, we want the wrists to angle up and down. So even if you're somebody with poor posture and your wrists are going like this, you're gonna notice that it's almost impossible for that club to get sucked inside. So that's one feeling that you could really have is it feels like the club just stays up in front of you, all right? feeling that I like, it almost feels like you're throwing something over your right shoulder, all right, is kind of how your arm should be moving in your golf swing. And then if you add good posture and shoulder turn, all right, it should throw it into the right spot and it shouldn't be being sucked right inside in your backswing. All right, so we've talked about our posture, we've talked about what your wrist should be doing, and we talked about how our shoulder should turn. So those are all things that you should check to make sure that you're not bringing the club inside. All right. The feeling that I have to make sure the club doesn't come inside is as I turn away, I make sure my arms feel like they stay wide away from my body. All right. So if I take it straight on, right arm is going to stay pretty long for a while and left arm isn't going to collapse to my chest. So if I take it away, I should have plenty of room between my body my arms and my body, okay? A lot of us who struggle with swinging that club inside and taking it low, I know automatically that they're pushing the arms, the left arm across their chest, and your right elbow might be pulling back behind you. So you need to get that right elbow back out in front of you. It's going to, if, you're, if you've struggled with bringing the club inside a lot, it's going to feel so bizarre and so strange to feel like the club head stays out in front of your chest. You've all probably seen the drill where people put the club into the center mass and they turn back. 
All right, that's basically kind of the same idea that we want. But when you put that into a swing, and for the first time the club's actually out in front of you and not low and inside and not doing weird stuff with your body, it's gonna feel weird. You might not even totally understand how to get it to the top of your swing from there because it's gonna feel strange. So make sure that you build up small. So a good way to improve your takeaway is start off with like hitting wedge shots. So if you have a green at your golf course where you can go 30, 40 yards out and you just really work on just making sure you have that nice wide takeaway and don't let that left arm get close to you, all right? Just keep it nice and wide away from you and just work on those 30 yard shots. Then build it up to 40, 50, then take it to 100 yards on the range and 150 and things like that. You always want to build off with small first and kind of slower swings in the beginning because as soon as you go full speed basically you snap right back into your same old routine that you had before which you've been trying to get rid of because uh, we've had a lot of repetitions in that and our brain does a really good job of just going oh he's going full speed let's go back to how we've been doing this the last five ten years of our life okay so posture shoulder turn what your wrists do and making sure your arms stay wide away from your body. All right, this could be a little bit harder for some of us who struggle with turning, all right? So you might have to make some adjustments. If you need some adjustments, again, there's another video that I did on making adjustments so you can turn a little bit more. So make sure you take advantage of some of the adjustments and some of the modifications you can make in your setup to make golf just a little bit easier for you, okay? So those are some of the feelings, some of the ideas that you can do to improve your takeaway. Uh, you can also use, say, a golf bag. So if you have a stand bag and how it sits at that angle, I should have brought it out here, I forgot about it. As you work on that takeaway, it should ride up that stand bag rather than run into the stand bag. Uh, you can use alignment rods. Uh, you can even use, if you have buckets on a range, you can stick a bucket straight back behind you and just make sure you feel like you're taking it above that bucket rather than in it or underneath it. Okay. Those are all really simple ideas. I'm sure you can think of something. You, uh, you could use a golf cart, but I probably wouldn't unless it's your own personal golf cart. All right, uh, but make obstacles. So if you run into it, that you know you're not, so you know that you need to improve on it more. And then when you put that obstacle in the way, it's okay to eventually start to build up using it. Because if you're going full speed and you're, it looks good on camera and you're missing the bucket or your golf bag or anything like that, then we know we're on the right path and we can basically knock that off our list. We don't have to work on it anymore and we move on to the next spot that we want to work on. I hope these videos help you. Make sure you subscribe and uh, thanks for posting that questions. If anybody else has a question uh, similar or something different about your golf swing, make sure you uh, leave a comment and I will do my best to try to get to it.